Got Timmy out here, uh, getting ready to get our day started. Uh, it's very, very windy out here. It's kind of a little muggy, but not really, really hot. Not, not too hot to not have Timmy with me right now. Maybe later, might not be able to have her with me, but later may not be able to run either because of uh, some storms are, are moving in again, uh, like we had yesterday. Just have to wait and see how they go. It goes and uh, just see how the rest of the day goes. But welcome everybody to Rebound with my coon hound. Be Tammy happy. Thank you all for being here, uh, for coming here to watch this video. Feel free to watch our other videos too that you haven't seen uh, back in our video playlist and stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll get to know a little bit more about us and see some amazing things especially with tammy uh but uh yeah we're i'm out here letting letting tammy do her thing before we get started uh, i'm not doing too good today yesterday was really really bad it's not as bad today but it's bad uh, as far as my back goes um yesterday was was absolutely absolutely horrible with pain I had some pretty bad luck the last couple days which when don't we have bad luck uh, where a bill actually took out uh, sooner than they should have which put my account actually in the negative people that live paycheck to paycheck knows exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to this kind of stuff when they take stuff out early it kills you uh, but I shared it on social media uh, and there was a couple of people uh, the made donations uh, from that and we are greatly appreciative of that because not only did uh, Did I need help with that? Um, with the actual negative balance I didn't get a insufficient fee applied to that uh, Man, Timmy's going up and down hills and just killed my back uh, But because of my back and me not thinking and everything um, I ended up somehow losing my gas cap uh, and gas caps are not cheap for the man uh, they're like $20 a piece so between all that uh, I actually between the donations and stuff that came in I was actually able to take care of that so I'm forever thankful for that um, you know who you are just thank you thank you thank you for that then yesterday I woke up was going to use the heating pad on my back sometimes heat helps sometimes it don't uh, but was going to use it on my back and my heating pad actually went out um, so there was somebody that made a donation for that as well which i'm forever grateful for for me to go out and get one uh, from wherever i needed to get one from they said so i'm forever grateful for that so i'm gonna start using that and everything uh for my back so yeah we've had a lot of a lot of bad luck and then with the storms in my back and everything else i haven't and not being able to get many schedules haven't been able to work for income anyway so that all has helped out tremendously so thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that um for for all the help now and in the future all the support you guys give us not just money wise goes but with in every single way every single way uh we thank you timmy sniffing over here and wagging her tail so i don't know if there's normally when she wags her tail like that normally there's a cat or something back in there so i don't know if there's a cat back in there or not this is the place where she brought some cats home but they came from the brush over there from the tree line over there i mean but i'm gonna let her actually Finish up her thing here. I may have to put her local love vest on her a little bit later. Her cooling vest. Maybe show that to y'all. The ones that haven't seen it yet. Uh, because I think it's amazing. Uh, and I would recommend it to anybody. Not that, you know, we are partnered with them or anything like that. It's just something that, uh, that uh, I love for Tammy and Tammy loves. And anything like that, I like to pass along to other pet parents. So, but we're going to let her... We'll let her uh, do her thing, and then we're gonna get out and do our thing. 
Tammy's very oh, very oh, excited. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. I said we got some Burger King. Say somebody gave us a little bit, oh, a little oh, bit of a good tip oh. on one of our orders. So we, I decided to go to Burger King and get Tammy something for lunch really quick because it's about to rain and oh, yeah. storm. And I wanted to get something quick for her. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Tammy's barking in the most oh, excited. Oh. Uh, so she's excited about that. We're heading home right now, though, because of uh, uh, storms are moving in big time. Yeah, Timmy's happy being back at the house. Stuff, uh, like I said, it's it's coming. It's coming from over there. So uh, we made it home before it actually started. So hopefully, you know, Timmy will eat um, before the storm actually starts. Because once the storm starts, and if she actually gets scared and starts shaking. She doesn't want to do anything. She just goes in her safe spot, looks off, put the wall, and doesn't even want to look at me or nothing. Doesn't want to do anything. Um, just wants to sit there and wait for the storms to move on. Uh, you know, wild love on her, and she's got her thunder shirt on and other stuff. She, she'll finally lay down and everything. But she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to eat. She doesn't want to do nothing. So, Timmy's eating a little bit of grass, but. Uh, yeah, she just she doesn't do, want to do anything uh, when she's scared with storms. See, she's, she's excited for this Burger King. Uh, <coughs> I normally get five dollar your ways, which comes with a sandwich, fries, a pop, and a chicken nugget, just so I can have some. She can have some both, which she has. She gets ninety percent of it, but. She absolutely loves this, and I actually take the buns. Uh, she doesn't like to eat the bun, uh, but I take the buns that's got ketchup and other stuff on it, and I actually put fries on it and make myself an actual fry sandwich, believe it or not. <laughs> huh. Oh, Timmy. No, no, I know. No. And yes, she does love her Burger King and some other stuff as well. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I was able to actually get it for her uh, with, the, with the tip. Um, wanted to just treat her something special. Yeah, I could have used that somewhere else, but wanted to give her something special for a change. Now, hopefully, she lays down, she gets calm and stuff because the storms are, are really, literally now <clears throat> getting ready to start. Uh, hopefully, she doesn't get too anxious and stuff. Uh, but I wanted to Show you a little bit of some of the stuff I recorded yesterday. I wasn't able to record like a whole day, um, but there is some stuff in it that you all might want to see, uh, including uh, Timmy having her Luca Love vest on uh, and stuff, being excited for having her Luca Love vest on uh, <coughs> and some other stuff. So um, wanted to show that to you, but also before I show that to you, I want to show you something that has been that I've been doing that has been kind of keeping my mind off stuff, keeping me sane, uh, especially when my mind starts to wander when I'm just sitting around the house at night. Can't sleep, all that other stuff. It really helps me. Um, and there's more I want to do with it, but I just have to get more stuff to do to do it with. But anyway, I want to show it to you. A lot of you already know, um, that's been watching my content, already know about this, but I've been doing some stuff with Hot Wheels and metal models and plastic models. I have a plastic model I want to put together. I've got the glue and everything else to put it together. Uh, I just need actual spray paint because the paint that I have is brush on paint. I don't have an actual sprayer. Um, so I need a can where I can spray, spray the paint on because I, I don't like the brush marks that brushes make. I'm kind of like a perfectionist when it comes to stuff like that. I like it to be at least somewhat decent, but I ended up putting this one together, which is metal. It has you know, opening doors and an opening hood. It's a pretty cool car. Uh, there's some wheels. I've been doing some wheel swaps. And then these are Hot Wheels that I actually took the tampos off of them with uh, acetone. Uh, I don't haven't for sure decided on what I'm going to do with them yet, as of yet. Um, I may just swap the wheels on them. I don't know. Uh, I want to eventually get water slide stickers or water slide decals to put on them. I'd like to get some water cow decals. I can make them if I can ever get me a printer uh, that actually has our name on it. Rebound my Coonhound or TB and Tammy or like a circle picture 
uh, of us uh, to put on the sides of the cars and stuff. Maybe maybe even eventually give them away uh, to some people. But I've got, I've got a lot of different ideas. That's the reason why you'll see a lot of stuff that has to do with this on our wish list. I use that wish list not only just, you know, for other people to see uh, and stuff like that, but also for me. I've got enough stuff to keep track of instead of me having to, you know, have a wish list for me and a wish list for everybody else to see. I just got one wish list and, and um, I put what I want to get on it too as well. And then if something happens, somebody wants to get it for us beforehand, that's awesome, which a lot of times it, that's what happens beforehand. Uh, but if not, you know, I'll get it when, uh, when I can actually get it. But that's the reason why you'll see some of the stuff like screws and tools and paints and just different kind of stuff like that is just so I can keep continuing to do this stuff to keep me sane, to keep me going, to keep me fighting for me and Tammy. It, it really, really helps me out. It's a hobby that doesn't cost a whole lot compared to other hobbies and it's something that I can actually do, something that I actually enjoy. Um, so that's the reason why, you know, I'm hoping I can continue to keep doing it for a, for a long time to come. I know a lot of people have gotten this stuff off the wish list that has helped me continue to keep doing this. I'm all, also building uh, what they call dioramas as well. It's going to take me a long time to do that. So you won't see that stuff quickly. Uh, but um, what a diorama is, is it's something that's small, that's like lifelike, like a house or a city or something along those lines. I'm building it for my cars, uh, building a, uh, a, an actual uh, auto workshop and uh, building a junkyard and stuff as well, both of them. But I'm taking my time doing it right, getting a little stuff here and there for it and try, trying to do it right. Trying to do it right. Uh, uh, one of the big things I need for my actual Hot Wheels, though, is my, that citrus strip. I need it to strip the the actual vehicles all the way down uh, to the bare metal uh, so I can sand them down and recolor them the way that I want to color them instead of just taking the tampos off of them. But I'll get there. It'll get. I'll get there. That citrus strip lasts for quite a while. But anyway, I'm going to quit blabbing and show you a little bit of yesterday. And excuse the mess, um, I gotta do some dishes and stuff and everything, but I wanted to show this all to you. Here's Tammy's Lumo Leaf Vest, and all you have to do is cold water. Just drench it. Drench it in the water. Every bit of it. And after you're done, actually you don't want a whole bunch of dripping. Unless you want to put it right on your dog or don't mind your dog dripping everywhere. That's fine too. But I wring it out just enough. Not totally dry. Just enough where it's heavy and it's just not dripping uh, a whole lot. Now I'm going to put it on her. Got Velcro on the back. The little flaps actually go on the bottom of her. Come here. Stay. 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 So we're going to go ahead and put this on her. down and around her, up here, and this piece goes down this way, got a couple flaps, and it tightens up however, however you know big your dog is, and uh, here we go, she's got her limo leaf vest on now, <laughs> she's excited, she knows what's going on, well, let me tell you something, she's excited about having it on too, look at her, look at her go, She's just wanting to go, 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 go. Look at that tail. Look how hard it's going back and forth. Uh, normally, it takes us forever to get down through this little strip here. And she's just going, 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 going. Look at her. Look at her. She, she absolutely loves that vest. She's excited about having it on. It's nice and cool for her. But yeah, you just keep that thing wet however you need to keep it wet. Because it takes a little while for it to dry. And it keeps them cool, uh, and she doesn't have a problem using the restroom with it or anything as long as you get the right size. I don't have to do anything with it. She can do both the bathroom both ways without having any issues, without feeling uh, uncomfortable. Uh, you know, like sometimes she does with her uh, her sweaters and her raincoat and stuff like that. She kind of feels weird with 
using the restroom with it on, so she won't use the restroom with it on. But with this Lumo Lease cooling vest, she will. She she has no problems uh, actually using the restroom. I still got to get it. Still got to get it washed, but uh, she loves it. And I normally put her harness underneath it instead of on top of it, like it is now. Uh, but I had already put her put her uh, Luca Love vest on. And I didn't want to take it back off, just put the harness back on, so put the harness over it. But you can do, you can do it either way. Uh, either way, uh, the harness, you can still put the harness underneath of, of the vest as well. And they had all kinds of colors. Um, and then I seen the pink camo, and I'm like, nah, she's got to have the pink camo one. <laughs> this will help her stay cool in this heat whenever I uh, have her out and about. And then when I get home... Uh, or get wherever and I know that she's cooled off like for example if something happens I run the air uh, in the van and I know we're going to be riding for a little while I'll take it off and hang it up in the van or take it off hang it up in the house uh, and then put it back on when we when we go to go, go back outside it's not that hard to put on as you as you see there was just a couple little velcro thing put it over her head and a couple little velcro things and that's it and it does not come it does not come un velcroed e either it's it's really really sturdy and the neat thing with her, uh, you know, she's a short-haired dog, um, but this little lead vest, I can soak it and put it on her and then take it back off of her within like just two to three minutes uh, or leave it on her a little bit longer, whichever way. But anyway, I'm just trying to give you an example of a lot of times when I go to put it on, it really doesn't wet her fur fur that much. It just make it. I don't know, it just it don't make sense. But... It cools her body. It really, really cools her body because I felt her head and her ears and all the other stuff when I first started using it to see that's how I see mostly if she is uh, overheating, plus by the way she's panting and breathing and stuff like that. But I check how hot her head is and her ears and all that and other stuff. There's other stuff you can do too as well, but uh, you can tell it really, it really, really cools them down. You just don't want to put their body in shock like us you know if they're hot you don't want to put an ice cold something ice cold on them uh, you want it to be uh, you want it to be cool but not cold cold not ice cold and although she's loving it out here now that she's got the vest on you know I don't mind doing anything for her she's always number one but it's really killing me because She's, she was going and pulling on the leash and tugging and trying to run, all out run. I tried to jog with her a little bit, but all out run. Uh, and that just kills my back. My back's still not better yet. But I'm going to let her finish up here for a little bit. We're still not, even though she's got the cooling vest on, still not going to be out here as long as we normally are. Um, just because I don't want her, uh, again, to, to overheat. And later on the day, it's, it gets, it's been getting more humider. Uh, but as you can tell, uh, at least it's got we got some clouds going over every once in a while to give us some shade, so that's helping a little bit too. After I'm done with her, uh, this is what I do. I got a hanger in the van where I can hang it up, or a hanger in here. Uh, I hang it up and I I uh, let it dry until I need to use it again because the only thing that was on it was water, uh, unless it gets really really dirty, which it is kind of dirty because we of where we used it last year where Timmy went through some mud puddles and stuff, but I'll get it clean. I just haven't went to the laundromat because of, uh, because of my back. Uh, so, uh, I'll get to the laundromat as soon as my back gets better. Which is much, much needed, huh, Timmy? He said, because that bed cover there needs to be washed. See, so you've, you've stained it because you won't keep the bit of sheet on it. Not that it's really dirty, dirty, but that's just a lot of stains from her poles being out in the mud and everything else. It is what it is. I got this bed for her anyways when I paid for it. I got it on payments, not from a, from like an errands or rent a center. It's a, it actually was for mattress firm, and I financed it through them. Uh, when I uh, first got the house, I was blessed to be able to do that. Tammy looks like she's about to go to sleep. Uh, but I got it for her. She was really excited about getting it. I got videos from the past. Too as well that shows her shows how excited she got when I actually got this and the actual couch. She wallowed like crazy on both of them. Um, actually made me cry. Uh, but she's right now in front of the fan, 
Uh, there's a fan directed straight on her. So, I think she'll probably pant just a little bit. She already got some water, but she'll pant just a little bit. She's smiling. And then she'll probably end up taking a nap. Give me kick kicking. Huh. So we have to park again, huh? Huh. So kick kicking. Huh. She so kick kicking. She's enjoying having her look a love cooling vest on again out here. All this little cool out here by the by the water a little bit. And yeah, she's enjoying her off trails with her vest on. Keeps her not like I said, keeps her kind of cool. So she's she's enjoying the outside time right now. Uh, gonna let her enjoy it uh, at least for a little bit while the shade's going in and out, and especially while we're in these trails, it's not as sunny or as hot. She's gonna kicky kicky some more. Now we're back to actual present day of me actually record making and recording the video. Uh, I didn't record a lot yesterday other than what i just showed you just because my back started getting really really bad uh after i was recording that last little bit so but i still wanted to show you all see so you see how how excited tammy was for her best and and uh everything else but uh i actually wish tammy right now would actually get sick because she was inside and wanted to come outside uh, and um, she's hacking and acting like she is going to get sick so she's eating a little bit of grass I knew she would uh, but you know go figure always 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 our luck uh, but I'm gonna give her some meds once I get back in the house too as well uh, I need to get her her vaccines get her for to the vet for her yearly uh, for blood work and all those stuff to see what all is going on with her because the way we lost Molly it just or Tammy it just it worries me with this stuff and you just never know because dogs can't tell you exactly what's going on with them so but I'm only one person and right now I just I don't have the money to to take her to get her vaccinations and all that stuff done fully yet um I've got some to go towards it, but not um, all of it. But we'll see. We'll, we'll see whenever I can get it done. Whenever I get it done, it'll take a load off me uh, big time as far as worrying for her. Really going to keep an eye on her, especially this time of day too uh, as well, because there's a lot of bees that get on these what little white flowers. And if she steps on one and one stings her just by her stepping on it, or if it just stings her period or she ends up eating one, uh, I'll probably definitely have to rush her right straight to the vet. She's very, very allergic to to bees. Uh, I've shared a uh, thing before on social media on how she had her mouth swell up when she was going through her prison training program because she was trained in a prison uh, while she was uh, in in a shelter. Uh, she didn't go all the way through the actual program because of that they pulled her out and never put her back in uh, but that's how I knew that she was allergic to uh, bee stings and sorry for the loud noises in the background but I got the TV on um, only because of storms are moving in yet again uh, having to attend with them as well today Timmy's finally laying down finally content a little bit uh, finally laying down going to sleep I gave her some meds for her being sick and stuff uh, or feeling sick uh, so hopefully she just sleeps and relaxes that's that's what's best for her hopefully she continues to keep doing that uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here I at least wanted to throw something up for y'all let y'all know how we've been doing the last couple days uh, just because of uh, you know uh, we don't we normally post a hot, whole lot more than what we have been doing so to let you all know that we were still alive we're still kicking we appreciate the patience we appreciate everybody's support we love you we hope you all have an amazing blessed day and remember to be tammy happy when she's feeling better <laughs>